Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about Johannes Kepler. Johannes Kepler, December 27, 1571 to November 15, 1630, was a German mathematician, astronomer, and astrologer who was a key figure in the 17th century scientific revolution. He is best known for his laws of planetary motion, based on his works Astronomy and Nova, Harmonices Mundi, and Epitome of Copernican Astronomy. These works also provided one of the foundations for Isaac Newton's theory of universal gravitation. Kepler was a mathematics teacher at a seminary school in Graz, where he became an associate of Prince Hans Ulrich von Eggenberg. Later he became an assistant to the astronomer Tycho Brahe in Prague, and eventually the imperial mathematician to Emperor Rudolf II and his two successors, Matthias and Ferdinand II. He also taught mathematics in Linz, and was an advisor to General Wallenstein. Additionally, he did fundamental work in the field of optics, invented an improved version of the refracting telescope, the kepler rhine telescope, and was mentioned in the telescopic discoveries of his contemporary Galileo Galilei. He was a corresponding member of the Accademia dei Linke in Rome. Kepler lived in an era when there was no clear distinction between astronomy and astrology, but there was a strong division between astronomy, a branch of mathematics within the liberal arts, and physics, a branch of natural philosophy. Kepler also incorporated religious arguments and reasoning into his work, motivated by the religious conviction and belief that God had created the world according to an intelligible plan that is accessible through the natural light of reason. Kepler described his new astronomy as celestial physics, as an excursion into Aristotle's metaphysics, and as a supplement to Aristotle's on the heavens, transforming the ancient tradition of physical cosmology by treating astronomy as part of a universal mathematical physics. In astronomy, Kepler's laws of planetary motion are three scientific laws describing the motion of planets around the Sun. First, that the orbit of a planet is an ellipse with the Sun at one of the two foci. Second, that a line segment joining a planet and the Sun sweeps out equal areas during equal intervals of time. Third, that the square of the orbital period of a planet is proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis of its orbit. Most planetary orbits are nearly circular and careful observation and calculation are required in order to establish that they are not perfectly circular. Calculations of the orbit of Mars, whose published values are somewhat suspect, indicated an elliptical orbit. From this, Johannes Kepler inferred that other bodies in the solar system, including those farther away from the Sun, also have elliptical orbits. Beyond his role in the historical development of astronomy and natural philosophy, Kepler has loomed large in the philosophy and historiography of science. Kepler and his laws of motion were central to early histories of astronomy such as Jean Etienne Montucla's 1758 Histoire des Mathematiques and Jean Baptiste de Lambert's 1821 Histoire de l'Astronomie Moderne. These and other histories written from an Enlightenment perspective treated Kepler's metaphysical and religious arguments with skepticism and disapproval, but later Romantic era natural philosophers viewed these elements as central to his success. William Will, in his influential History of the Inductive Sciences of 1837, found Kepler to be the archetype of the inductive scientific genius. In his Philosophy of the Inductive Sciences of 1840, Will held Kepler up as the embodiment of the most advanced forms of scientific method. Similarly, Ernst Friedrich Appelt, the first to extensively study Kepler's manuscripts, after their purchase by Catherine the Great, identified Kepler as a key to the revolution of the sciences. Appelt, who saw Kepler's mathematics, aesthetic sensibility, physical ideas, and theology as part of a unified system of thought, produced the first extended analysis of Kepler's life and work. Kepler has acquired a popular image as an icon of scientific modernity and a man before his time. Science popularizer Carl Sagan described him as the first astrophysicist and the last scientific astrologer. Directly named for Kepler's contribution to science are Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Kepler's supernova, supernova 1604, which he observed and described, and the Kepler solids, a set of geometrical constructions, two of which were described by him, and the Kepler conjecture on sphere packing. Kepler died on November 15, 1630, and was buried in Regensburg. His burial site was lost after the Swedish army destroyed the churchyard. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Johannes Kepler. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.